at airports. We need to get the public, uh, win the public over on this. I said we're challenging it in the High Court, but we can't rely on any court or any jurisdiction. So what we have to do, we have to hope for the best in that court, but we have to prepare for the worst. We have to get ready for more struggle, for an intensified struggle until we get what we need out of this is issue. And like I said before, we've only got one thing on our mind, the complete reinstatement of the leaders we voted for, not anybody else. G'day everyone, my name's Brad McDougall and I'm the Deputy Secretary of the ETU, New South Wales and ACTU branch. Our union represents over 15,000 electrical workers in this state and the ACT. And I speak for every one of them when I say the treatment from the government of the CFMEU is nothing but bloody disgraceful. Yes. Yes. But it extends further than that. This is an attack on the entire union movement and we need to draw a line in the sand. And we need to do it now. Who wanted to cripple and destroy the union movement. This legislation is one in one foul swoop has taken out the whole CFMEU executive around the country. This, is a, this will have detrimental effects on all construction workers across the country. Safety standards will get worse, wages and conditions will erode. Why don't they go after big business? Who are they paying their fucking taxes or hundreds of employers who don't pay their workers the correct entitlements, superannuation and wages? Or builders who are negligent and kill a worker on site? The most anti-democratic, anti-union, anti-worker law that's ever been put in in uh, Australia. And we've never seen anything like this. The removal of your right to go to court to defend your innocence. The democratic freedoms of workers to elect their leaders. So this statement, each and every one of you here, to call out who the real criminals are. This rotten Labor government and Minns, the rotten Albanese government and his rotten, uh, generous, shit politicians. Oh, 